Hello, it's um 11:04 a.m. <coughs> so, like, I'm I'm glad that I was able to get, you know, <coughs> well, they had a man <coughs> who donated me something, <coughs> and um, so. Since I, I mean, I would have gone to O'Reilly's by now. I mean, actually by 10 o'clock when they open for brunch. But now I can't go there no more, and it's raining. So also, they had a, a, a man who handed me $20 today, but, <clears throat> you know, um, it, it's like... Okay, so he, he seemed like, a, an, I mean, the man who gave me $20 in person, you know. Well, I don't want to go into detail, but, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I was able to get, you know, a way to get over here. The, libra the libraries are all closed today. And so I'm cold, so I'm kind of damp. I'm not soaked, but I'm kind of damp and I'm feeling cold. So um, since I'm banned from pretty much almost every restaurant downtown, you know, it's why I'm coming here. Um, to the mall today. They're gonna perk me anyway, and they know where I'm at. So that's why I'm already saying it. But usually, you know, I just go to the mall. I don't really an announce in advance where I'm going. <clears throat> but I'm just letting y'all, you know, if y'all care about the supporters who care about my safety, that, um, you know, I came here, you know, to try to get me some safety and warmth. I mean, no, I, it, I can't say warm because the mall is cold, you know, cold air conditioning and stuff. But, you know, I, just, I guess I have just enough food, a little bit of money for food to eat for today and tomorrow. And it's supposed to be raining, as I said, um, for this hurricane. We're getting the rain. It's supposed to be a tornado watch. We have flash flooding, but the hurricane is not gonna directly hit us. <laughs> You know, it's not gonna directly hit us, but um, but we're getting some effects, like with the tornadoes and super windy, and um, flash flooding and stuff like that. And I heard a lot of New Orleans people, Louisiana people, came over here, and that's why the, they price gouged on the hotels, raised the hotel prices up. That is so wrong. And they raised up the prices and probably the gas too, for the you know people commuting and stuff. <clears throat> they raised, I don't know about the gas, but they definitely raised the hotels and all the hotels are, you know, gone. And so th they say this is the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, and today is also Michael Jackson's birthday. And so. Um, Y'all think this is a coincidence? They they warned in advance to everybody to get out because Hurricane Ida is supposed to be a bad, 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 bad hurricane. You know, like really bad. They're already saying it's category four and tearing up New Orleans. So, you know, I had prayed for everybody last night, you know, for everybody to be, you know, prepared and safe and, you know, stuff like that. And, um, so it's like, um, those, let me put my earbuds in because I'm getting distracted by those cars. So, I mean, I'm out here. I mean, they opened the, 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 the doors um, for the mall, but I'm, they opened the doors for the mall, but um, I'm just doing a video to help pass time and um bored and my anxiety is really high 
I'm sleep deprived. I got no sleep last night. Well, I guess I'll take my earbuds out. But I didn't want to be hollering and screaming and talking too loud. So I'm glad they don't have the music playing right now. <clears throat> and um, so it's supposed to rain all the way through Tuesday, and I don't get that last work paycheck until Tuesday. So I'm have been trying to look for another job. And some people say it's the best thing for a Christian and the best thing for a TI, a targeted individual, to be entrepreneurial. But you hear about the perps trying to destroy your business and stuff like that. So I'm wondering what, what, what kind of business could, could you get that would be like destroy proof that you that the perps can't I mean you can make if if there's any independent job I can do by myself where the perps won't destroy you know or that where they can't destroy <clears throat> and so I mean affiliate marketing I don't know some people say it's legit but I know nothing about it um I knew that was a perp, but you can't see it. Perp with funny, one light headlight brighter than the other, but funny headlight. And then this other perp right here has their light super bright as well. So, um, I know what I'm going through, you know, and so it's like I'm, I'm just I'm not taking advantage of anybody I'm just trying to survive <clears throat> and um, I'm willing to work you know I just wish that they would stop sleep depriving me and that you know they would stop um, I mean I, I wish I had access to a vehicle and I wish that they would stop sleep depriving me even if not that then I, I wish there was I mean, they don't even have, I mean, these church ministries won't even help. I mean, they won't even help you with a hand up. They're doing much or nothing for the homeless. And feeding homeless pretty much literally, I don't like that word literally, but I'm saying literally for emphasis, crumbs. <clears throat> you know, they feed you crumbs of food and feed you nothing but junk food, nothing nutritious. And they just don't give a damn, you know? And people would rather treat homeless like less than and, and save all the old expired scraps for the poor and the homeless. Even at the food banks, if you have a place to live but you're on Section 8 and you gotta go to the food banks, all the old food go, you know, all the old expired food, you know, and you expect it to be grateful for it and stuff like that. And every now and then you might get some fresh fruit or vegetables or something like that, you know. So, I mean, I, mean, I even use some of the food at the food banks to try to be a prepper and stock up. You know, I try to practice what I learned with the prepping, but I still feel like I'm ignorant of everything. I feel like all this research and nothing to show for it, but you know, I haven't had a way much to put my survival skills to use. Um, well, I don't have that many survival skills, but I mean, I try to practice foraging for food and foraging for wild edibles but I don't know how, how far I would have to walk to go live out in the woods or how far I would have to go to live off the grid. But I heard that the government will still find you and ban you from living off the grid. And I don't know how to survive off the grid, but I read up some things about living off the grid. And um, I, I don't know. How, if, it's like, I can't, I don't think I can do that by myself, but I'm a loner and um, so I don't know. So, I just, I mean, I felt bad that I got some 
pee on myself, even with, you know, the bladder pad last night. And so I'm wet, sticky, and it's kind of smelly, but I've trying, been trying to air it out. And then the rain caused me to get more wet, so I'm back to smelling bad again. So, you know, with the forced urination and, the, um, you know, the direct energy weapons and stuff. And so I guess I have just enough for, I guess, enough food for today and tomorrow. But, I mean, I would like to come back here again tomorrow. Um, but I don't think I'll have the money to be able to come back here tomorrow. Just, um, you know, just me trying to stay warm and safe and stuff. You know, because... Some of the lot like some of the libraries aren't even closed tomorrow and I have to wait until Tuesday to get to go to the library. So Tuesday, you know, I would like to change out of the wearing the same black outfit almost every day for three months. Well June, July and August. And well almost three months. And um I'm debating on whether I should get a dress to wear or some sweatpants to wear. But it was still kind of warm weather. But, I mean, I'm hoping that, I mean, I heard that they, they're making it like as if nobody's going to survive this Hurricane Ida if they stay in New Orleans. They're saying it's that bad. And, and you see, we get in the rain where well, y'all can't see it through here, but... We getting bad. I mean, it's raining like it's raining a lot. And so tonight, I'm gonna. I mean, even if I were to have the money, all the hotels were booked. I mean, booked up, and they boost the prices, and they're made to be more expensive, and um, plus sold out. So um, you know, this this past week. I mean, I, I did not know that Hurricane Ida was coming right after my birthday, you know. I didn't know Hurricane Ida was coming. And not until the day after, like the 26th, and it was strong wind uh, Thursday night. And, but we thought it was going to rain, but it, w it was no rain. And then they have Hurricane Julian and I think Kate coming up. So now... They have 9-11 and then reverse 11-9. So Hurricane Katrina starts with a K, which is 11. And then Hurricane Ida starts with an I, you know. And I heard that um, Hurricane Katrina was, um, <clears throat> Hurricane Katrina was heart controlled and engineered. And um, it was a blood, a massive blood sacrifice ritual on black New Orleanians, you know, because I heard, I, you know, with the subliminal back masking, I have on my True DVD for Christians, if, if you look in the description box and look at the, some of the videos I have, like in one of the first three parts, one of those are somewhere, and Hurricane Katrina backwards means punish the niggers. And I heard that Hurricane Katrina means um, Hurricane Katrina actually means, um, I, well, I heard that Katrina was like named after a Mexican witch that does, you know, Santeria witchcraft. But I don't know so much about Hurricane Ida, but I do remember reading and researching a Christian man, you know, his website is hard to find. I think his name is Bill Cockman or something like that. And he would call himself Word Weaver or something. And so, you know, they had, and I heard that something about Hurricane Katrina and the, had plentiful, I mean, like New Orleans had plentiful oil and that, that, you know, Hurricane Katrina was designed on purpose. You know, it was designed on, on purpose to try to destroy blacks and kill off blacks and also um i've heard a lot of human trafficking child trafficking i mean it was a i mean i mean i'm sorry i'm about to get emotional i 
I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, like, I heard that, you, you know, a, a lot of children being like, um, you know, a lot of children being coming up, I mean, becoming missing and human trafficking and stuff like that. And my, my entire family, you know, survived Hurricane Katrina. And my car, when I had a car, it was the only car in my apartment complex that, um, I mean, my car was the only car that um, didn't flood out. And I didn't know at the time that you weren't supposed to drive through flood waters, but I didn't, wasn't a Christian or a believer at the time, and God must have been with me the whole time. You know, that, that was a doggone miracle that I drove through flood water. I didn't know I was... I mean, because I was still new at driving, and I didn't really, you know, but I made it through. And um, I heard about kids being raped in the, um, you know, in the Superdome, people being raped, in, women being raped and abused in the Superdome. And um, I heard about people swimming. I heard about people swimming, um, you know, with dead bodies floating in the water. I mean, I had bad personal family experiences that I've talked about in past videos and on other, my main Psych World channel that's now taken down, but, you know, <clears throat> I mean, do, even during a disaster, the family is reprobate enough that they can't even come together and be closer. You know, it seems like with Hurricane Katrina, the family abuse got worse. You, you know, even death in the family, Post Katrina, the family couldn't come together. They still find a way to be just reprobate, evil, and ignorant. <clears throat> you know, so I, I mean, I heard that they deliberately put us in racist towns in Texas. You know, now I didn't go directly. Me, I went to Milwaukee, and I, that's one of the biggest regrets in my life. I wish I would have never gone and listened to Wyatt and go. He coercively manipulated me into going to Milwaukee, it's just so him and my nephew John, the biological nephew, so that they can, um, you know, <clears throat> take advantage of my Hurricane Katrina FEMA money and stuff like that. You know, and just mooching and leeching off of me. So. Um, yeah, people looting in the stores, you know, you weren't allowed to, I heard that they were under martial law during Hurricane Katrina, and I remember by the time I got, where are these kids' parents? These loud kids and their parents, I mean, these loud kids, where are their parents? They talk, they, they, these loud kids, and they have, the little kids, and they have their dogs, and they don't, wait, where's your parents? So anyway, they're distracting and interrupting my video. <clears throat> they probably, I, I mean, so, damn, oh, and, yeah. see they're doing this on purpose. So they're deliberately trying to distract my video. Shut up. They're Hispanic. Come on, y'all going to come? Damn. They're just hanging around talking loud. They're distracting me on purpose. I was trying to say that, um, see, the most important thing I'm trying to talk about um, when, by the time I got to Baton Rouge and tried to see my biological brother, Sean, they... Damn, what are y'all doing? <coughs> I 
See, they're trying to force me to have to finish this video later, and I'm not trying to. <clears throat> so I try to get my brother, biological brother Sean, to evacuate. Come on, what are y'all? Go somewhere. <clears throat> and so the biological brother Sean, I try to get him to evacuate with me from the group home in Baton Rouge where he was at, and I, they would not let me. They would not let him evacuate with me, you know. And they forced him to stay there, and so, um, so then I remember being that. The, so, so like, why? Why they just coming over here just to make noise? They're not even coming inside the mall. They got the little dogs with them over there, just making noise, harassing me. And, and, Interrupting my video on purpose. So, um, I remember. So I, I remember, um, I was at one of the shelters in Baton Rouge, and they were saying, "Believe half of what you see and none of what you hear." And they were saying that the mainstream media is lying. You know, I, I do remember them, them saying, <clears throat> they, they said that the, the main, see, see their perps. Him and his chil two children with their dogs, they, their perps. <clears throat> now he's on the phone interrupting. Damn, do I have to go inside? <laughs> They're doing this deliberately. Yeah, th those perps were sent over here. So, I was trying to say that um, they said, believe none of what you hear and half of what you see and that the mainstream media and the government is lying. They even said, do not trust FEMA. I remember all that, you know. So, damn, my heart was really heavy and I started to get choked up, <clears throat> you know, and, and family members still grudging against me and not wanting to talk to me when I'm trying to look for family members during Hurricane Katrina. The family's so ignorant that they falsely accused me of leaving them behind on purpose and, and they thought that was funny and stuff like that, you know. It's like the, the, family, the abusive family made things worse. What, now they want to come their asses in here. I have to go. So it's like they just, I thought they were trying to turn the radio on, the, the loud music, stupid loud music on. But y'all see, this is part of intentional gang stalking, especially when you're trying to get the truth out and stuff. So at first he left those kids by themselves and then later on he come by talking. They all talking super loud. So let me go. So so now he's going off, walk off again and leave those kids by themselves. You gonna deliberately leave your kids by, by themselves? You're walking off and leave your kid, leave the kids by themselves with the two dogs, the two kids and the two dogs. So, I hope y'all were able to hear what I was trying to say, and I'll talk to y'all in a while.